How's it going audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews and today I'm looking at the Astrotech S80 True Wireless Earphone. These earphones have a single beryllium dynamic driver per side. They have Bluetooth 5.0 and the price is currently $89. Uh, let me show you what you get in the box. You get a picture there of a lovely lass wearing the earbuds. You get this plastic cover which gives you a first use guide. Tells you how to pair, how to wear them, how to put them in your ears and things like that. Inside you get, you actually get two cases which is pretty cool quite generous. You get, let's just clear that out the way, you get first of all the charging case with the earphones inside. I'll show you more of those in a moment. And you get this additional storage case or carrying case with a book. You get some you get quite a few sets of uh, ear tips, which is good. You get a USB Type-C charging cable, and that is the inside of the case. Pretty handy. So not a bad little package. So there they are. Plastic, they're made of plastic. On the uh, face plates, there is no physical button. These are capacitive buttons, so they're touch sensitive. You use with touch controls. The playback controls you tap once to pause or play, tap twice on the right to increase the volume, twice on the left to decrease volume. Uh, if you tap three times it will actually open your AI assistant so it will open Siri if you're on an iPhone or Google or whatever or fucking Bixby, a useless thing. So that's the earpieces. They're nice and light. They're quite comfortable. The only thing I don't like is the super short nozzles, so it makes tip rolling difficult, but that probably won't be a problem for most people because the included tips are quite decent. The battery life, five hours from these, which is pretty good. And you get an additional four or five full charges from the case, so about 20 to 25 hours all up. They're quite comfortable, they fit in my ears really nicely. I forgot to mention they also have an IPX5 rating, which means you don't need to worry about rain or sweat because they're water resistant. Let's talk about the sound, starting with the bass. If you're out and about, you want a low end with some punch, and the S80 delivers. It's neither too heavy or too light and kind of falls into the sweet zone in terms of quantity. That's totally subjective, of course. It's a warm but controlled bass that has fairly good detail. Bass notes have plenty of weight to drive the music and make it emotive and fun without going over the top. It's a bass that works well with just about any kind of music genres, uh, even if it does sound a little bit thick at times. For the mid-range, uh, the mid-range is very smooth. It's quite detailed with a slightly upfront presentation. Vocals are silky and emotional with male and female voices getting equal, equal favor. So there's no preference given to male or females. The mid-range detail is actually surprisingly good considering their smooth and full-bodied nature. Although guitars can sound a little soft and the mid-range notes in general sound a bit thick, but it's a, it's a tuning I think that's well suited for, for use on the move, which is what these are designed for. They're for taking the train, hopping on a bus, riding a bike to work, going for a jog, shit like that. So you you know, keep in mind what they're designed for and then, you know, don't have unrealistic expectations of what you can get 
for a sub $100 wire, truly wireless earphone. Onto the treble. The treble has enough energy to keep things lively, but it stays relatively smooth. Uh, more emphasis is put on the lower treble while the upper treble is more laid back. This makes the, over, the overall tonality warmer, which will please the treble sensitive out there because it means it doesn't sound uh, too bright. It doesn't have a bright tonality. It's not the most detailed treble, but at the same time, it doesn't sound muted or dark. It does, however, mean that uh, there's a bit less clarity in the mid-range because clarity is something that you generally get from the lower to mid treble region. So you boost the lower to mid treble and that in turn will improve the clarity in the mid range. But, but having said that, the mid, there's nothing wrong with the mid range. It is uh, just very smooth, a little bit thick in its presentation, very warm overall. So overall, these are pretty good earbuds. Although there's a lot of competition in the truly wireless space right now. Uh, just about everyone is, is making their own version of a truly TWS earbuds. Even uh, KZ has just released their E10, I think it's called, which is actually a bit cheaper than these, but I haven't really uh, spent much time listening to those, so we'll have to see how they're going. But I don't have a problem recommending these. They're as good as any other TWS I've heard, better than some. The functionality is good. I love the fact that you can adjust the volume with the touch controls. A lot of them you still need to change the volume on the source. But yeah, not a bad earbud at all. Pretty good. Recommended. So if you liked this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more earphone and headphone reviews, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.